Good afternoon to everyone. We are just waiting for Fanali to join. We will start. हेलो हेलो मैम राहुल देसाइड फ्रॉम आईजीडीटी वन मिशन फाउंडेशन या हाय राहुल हाय मैम गुड गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून मैम फ्यू ऑफ आवर पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैव जॉइन वी वी कैन स्टार्ट दे विल जॉइन इन बिटवीन आई थिंक वी नीड नॉट टू वेस्ट द टाइम एंड वी कैन वेट फॉर अनदर टू मिनट्स Oh sure, no problem. Sure, okay. Rahul Rahul yeah. Rahul my uh, I could not able to change my name Rachna Anand this side actually it's on my daughter's name Khushi Siroi so if you I, want to take an inventory I so I, just, I will change just come to me in Rachna Anand right yes i have read right. thank you thank you so much Mm -hmm. Ma'am Sonali ji, I think we can start with the session. I have, um, Doctor Roda might have, you know, given you a hint. We are running a third, total seventy hour program on women entrepreneurship acceleration program. Out of seventy, thirty hours are the common session, and this is a part of a specific special series session which is under AI, SaaS, big data. so we expect a crowd of 15 to 20 people ma'am here <laughs> are am i audible na yes you are audible yes 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 ma'am so participants today's this session will be taken by sonali jha ji she is founder and director of qnomial technologies private limited uh she matlab ma'am started her company in 2018 and before that she was working with various companies like golden fresh cold spring harbor new york times and other uh, ma'am full a master degree in computer science from new york university so 
I suggest you to take the best benefit out of this session. And now, ma'am, I hand over it to you. Okay, thank you so much, Rahul. And yes, so, before starting the session, I would like to understand, uh, like, uh, about the cohort. So, if any one of you can just uh, give a quick overview about uh, the type of companies and uh, uh, about your cohort, it will be great. Yes, all participants can introduce themselves just briefly. I request you all to unmute yourself and introduce. Yeah. Also, just, uh, like your uh, company, uh, your sector, uh, so that I will get a uh, better understanding about your cohort and then I will uh, take the session, uh, like uh, but, yes. including all the focus area. Yes. Also, ma'am, I will make you co-host for, matlab, host for the session as I am okay. out. So I may have a network description here, ma'am. No Actually, problem. I was traveling right now. Yeah. No problem. I'll take uh, care. Sure. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All can unmute yourself, participants. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Dilya. I am uh, currently uh, doing my stationary retailing through Gem Portal. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, I have actually restarted my career after my children had grown up. So I am uh, 45 years old. So I restarted my career during COVID and uh, I am doing stationary retail to government organization, all the office supplies. This is what I'm doing right now, but I plan to do and go into the venture of uh, biofuels later on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Yes. Uh, Pallavi this side. So okay. I am the founder of Meraki Creations and uh, it's a digital marketing agency. So we started two years back with uh, we have all the digital solutions like uh, search engine optimization, social media marketing, uh, graphic designing, content writing, video editing. So all these services we are providing and uh, it's a proprietary firm. We started two years back. Okay. Nice. Good afternoon. My yeah. name is Raj Anand and uh, I'm into government exports pre-COVID, but now I have a planning to get into e-commerce for Indian platforms, uh, basically for the plus size women and for the kids wear. Okay, nice. Uh, Komlas, can you? Yeah, I'm <clears throat> Vanaja Shirsagar. This is my mother's phone. Okay. And I'm not able to change the name. She's no worries. <laughs> so I'm a recently retired teacher and I have started a coaching center. And I'm uh, teaching on my own, but I want to, you know, expand it, get other teachers on board so that I have a center where all subjects are taught. Okay, nice. Okay. And you all are based out of Mumbai or Delhi? No, right? I am in Delhi, Noida. Delhi, ma'am. Uh, okay, all of you. Nice. Uh, so, Matis. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Sumati Sachin Obroy. I have been a teacher for past 12 years, more than 12 years. Now I have come up with an idea and the company name would be Fledglings. It will be um, a YouTube channel initially where children will be able to see animated videos. So USB of my uh, product, I should say, because there will be an application soon, uh, will be that the content which will be there will not be regular more times that they see. Okay, you sit down. You will Miss Divya, could you please mute? Miss Divya, thank you. Okay, so it will be a YouTube channel and then application and uh, it will be a little different because it will talk about real life and uh, life all that and very soon uh, there will be merchandise as well t-shirts and kurtas uh, with those messages for example be compassionate be kind because we have seen when it comes to adults there are n number of options available uh, like we we women and men wear be compassionate be kind and all that but if, if when it comes to kids we always see mama's boy papa's boy i love my family not these kind of such like messages, I should say, quotes. 
So I really want them to learn. So I think whatever their thoughts are, they should flaunt it. And the best way to flaunt your thoughts and uh, you know your learnings is when you wear it. right because people see so i really look forward to uh, starting with this and i really keep my fingers crossed that um, i'll be able to uh, make people understand what this product is all about nice okay um, hi uh, i'm pooja uh, i'm the founder of uttardai so i'm into currently into retailing of organic uh, staples and i have a retail store in noida so half of the store is zero waste organic grocery and half of it is artisanal based home decor and home utility items okay yeah uh dr jasmine hello uh, good afternoon ma'am good afternoon um so ma'am i'm a dental surgeon and uh, currently i want to work uh, the idea is uh, for dentistry and healthcare in india specifically um what exactly is the idea i'm not sure right now i know the gaps and i have to come up with an idea that works but doctors are never taught you know the business or that those aspects so i want to first gain the network and uh, uh, the knowledge of how this works and then if i proceed with it i guess this will be helpful for me sure okay nice. thank you hello ma'am yes uh, myself saima amadi basically i'm a phd scholar so right now i'm pursuing my uh, phd in medical microbiology field so i came up with an idea to design some potent antifungal agents which have like less toxicity as well as they are cost effective also so actually what happened in today's scenario there is continuously increase in the resistance during whatever current available antifungal drugs is available they are start of emerging resistance so the potent antifungals which are available today they are not able to respond against these pathogens so i want to design some potent antifungal agents which have very good efficacy plus they will uh, they will also cost effective also okay so this is just overall idea okay nice thank you uh i think purnima and anjali yes hello yes anjali yes yes, yes my name is anjali prajapati my name is anjali prajapati and i am currently working as a chemistry and biology lecturer navsakti government school and my idea and my setup in personally coaching institute in all subject in delhi so you have competitor in your cohort only <laughs> okay yes. or you can collaborate actually yes ma'am thank you so yes. much yes we'll collaborate <laughs> yeah uh, all are done uh, good afternoon purnima this side yes purnima uh, my idea is just a, uh, an idea basically right now Uh, I'm planning for training session or a kind of training platform regarding the communication skills, behavior aspects, and uh, the decorum of the office environment, especially with the government sector, the hierarchy, the behavior patterns with the designation. Okay. Nice. Anybody else? Uh... all are done okay so i can see a mix of cohort into uh, health domain uh, education sector e commerce okay so uh, first of all i would like to say uh, congratulations uh, like uh, you have uh, taken a decision to start something of your own which is very Uh, like uh, it needs a different uh, type of mindset okay everybody likes their uh, uh, like uh, uh, routine job they don't want to do something extra so first of all i would like to congratulate for that because you all have the potential to contribute to a range of social and economic development okay you can uh, be a employment uh, uh, 
generator you can generate uh, many employments you can remove uh, reduce the poverty you can help in improvement in the nutrition i have seen like uh, uh, like one of you uh, is into health sector two of you into health sector so you can help in the uh, quality of life improvement in nutrition health and overall food security in the national economy so basically you all have the uh, the beauty of your cohort is you all have the entrepreneurial mindset and your way of thinking it enables you to overcome challenges be decisive and accept the responsibilities for your outcomes okay and there is a constant need uh, like it's not like uh, uh, you know, we have idea we are working on that right there is a constant need to improve your skills learn from your mistakes i'm i'm sure you're going to make mistakes okay that every startup founders does so you're going to learn from your mistakes and take continuous action uh, on your ideas okay so as an uh, entrepreneur one of the important tasks you can perform is getting your idea out from your head so as dr uh, sabina right uh, jasmine dr jasmine mentioned right she is still brainstorming uh, and definitely she will come up with a with an uh, uh, idea so as an uh, entrepreneur uh, one of the important tasks is to uh, per, uh, you can perform is getting your idea out from your head into a tangible format so that you can communicate that with others like other stakeholders in the ecosystem okay so uh, i would also like to mention like uh, uh, to be a successful entrepreneur uh, it's not necessary to have uh, like uh, uh, we should be uh, Pursue. We should do MBA, right? It it is not uh, important. The four important mindset which any entrepreneur should have is first to anticipate the failure. Okay, uh, an entrepreneur who makes uh, it big on the first try is a rare story. It is very very uh, rare story. Okay, so the path to success is not straight. uh the road is full of challenges the journey will take many uh, detours like let's let suppose today you are starting uh, with one idea maybe in uh, future you will uh, detour and then uh, you can work upon uh, different product and services okay so no matter how meticulously you plan you are going to make a mistake so learn from those mistakes and uh, also uh, like uh, uh, you how you can do is by not anticipate uh, like, uh, like by not anticipating the failure okay the next uh, mindset i can say is uh, let go and delegate your co-founder it's not necessarily to have a co-founder at the uh, beginning but uh, eventually you will need it because you cannot run the show by yourself so you need to have a core team members who can provide diverse type of uh, skill sets okay and you have to uh, have a mindset to let go and delegate so you can uh, like uh, most of the founders have the tendency to do so, uh, everything by their own that will not work in long run okay so you have uh, you should have a tendency to let go and delegate you should uh like uh, make leaders like you who can uh, uh like take your business to another level then uh, the third mindset should be uh, to stay curious okay because uh, you have to learn new skills as you have mentioned right dr jasmine uh, mentioned like uh, she need to learn the business skills in uh, medical like they, they were not taught uh, about the uh, like uh, uh, business uh, uh, like how to run the business and what are the uh, important uh, uh, parameters to uh, follow in order to run a successful company right so you have to stay curious you have to learn new skills and uh, uh the uh, the last one is follow your strengths because your intuition especially the founders intuition is very different uh, there is a survey by stanford university and also by the kaufman foundation and found like 98% of the company founders said that the uh, the willingness to take risk is a usual stepping stone to entrepreneur success okay successful entrepreneurs uh, relied on their gut feeling when it come to hiring people for their businesses because you will understand who, uh, who will work or who will not work right uh, in some cases there is a need of very intellectual people in some cases you need average people so based upon your product and service offerings you will decide and you will be a bet better judge okay so you have to follow your instinct you have to follow your gut feeling so these are the common uh, entrepreneurial mindset which 
you should have, uh, and I'm sure you must be having it. That's the reason you are part of this uh, cohort. And uh, uh, without taking much time, I would like to share my screen. So today's topic is around growth strategies with SaaS products pertaining uh, exceptional uh, performance. Can anybody of you tell me like what is SaaS product or what is a SaaS business model? Any one of you? It's like a, a software as a service. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So particularly you offer a, a software or a, so basically it could be like an app or it could be a software which, you know, aims to solve any particular problem of the customer. Can you give me some example of SaaS products? Uh, like uh, uh, recently we just had a, a meeting with one of uh, the session uh, holders like you. So he was building a SaaS product around, you know, connecting all the uh, influencers on Instagram. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, his uh, model is to, you know, help out uh, brands to, you know, manage our uh, promotions, uh, promotions. From. So that okay. is uh, one example that I can share. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, yeah, that's a good example. Anybody else? Uh, Dropbox. Okay, yes. Uh, or maybe uh, web meeting. The... Yes, Zoom and all, all our SaaS products, yes. Shopify. Yes. Yeah, or maybe the, those programs which are there around the hospital on online central server where they get connected to each other and you get all the services on them even on the banking banking sector also mm, uh, that's not a SaaS product uh, that is actually uh, designed for their use case okay that is designed for their particular use case for to run the business it's not like and every banking solution is very different okay okay so I can give you very, I'm sure all, you all must be using Google, uh, Gmail. Like yeah. Gmail account, right? Yes. Google, uh, this uh, G Suite, uh, this is a, uh, also an example of SaaS. Whosoever wants, you just sign up. Since we are uh, using it for personal, uh, at personal capacity, so we, uh, we are not paying it. But the moment, uh, uh, or if you will cross the limit, right? Uh, like, let's suppose they are giving up to 25 GB in case you want to uh, buy extra, right? You can pay per use, right? That is also a SaaS model. Or in case you want for your company, you want the G Suite, uh, like where you can uh, uh, create your empl employee accounts or uh, uh, you can have the cloud services. So that will again uh, uh, be a, a SaaS product only. So uh, like uh, Google Cloud GCP, or AWS, Amazon Web Services, all are examples of the SaaS product. So basically SaaS, uh, uh, like uh, uh, business model is uh, major majority of the time it is on subscription model, okay? So this is a very good business model example uh, nowadays because now digitization is uh, 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 like uh, everybody wants their uh, organization to be digitalized, right? So now there is a, a need of more and more SaaS products. And uh, uh, like uh, the key business objectives that are associated with adopting a SaaS delivery model is uh, first the agility. Okay, the uh, that is the broader goal of the SaaS. And successful SaaS companies are built with an idea that they must be ready to continually uh, adopt to the market, customer, and com uh, competitive dynamics. Then the second is the operational efficiency. Okay, so like uh, because uh, we, without having the operational efficiency, uh, SaaS products cannot promote, uh, cannot scale, uh, and uh, uh, like uh, it will be very difficult for them to balance the load. Okay, so op operational efficiency is required. Then the frictionless onboarding, like uh, for example, if anybody of you wants the Zoom subscription, right? The more you go, subscribe, pay, and then you're good to go. So the frictionless onboarding, right? Without any delay, without that is the beauty of the SaaS products. Then uh, the market response and the growth. Okay. So basically, SaaS is a growth-centric business strategy. For um, what I have seen uh, in uh, like majority of you are into 
uh, yes, uh, the, the, the two who are into education domain, right? You can have a SaaS product, okay? You can build up uh, like a, a product uh, for learning, uh, having the SaaS business model, okay? Be and because SaaS is a growth-centric business strategy, aligning all to the moving parts of the organization around agility and efficiency gives SaaS organization the ability to target the growth model. Okay, so there is a uh, no limit in initially uh, uh, there are some expenses involved, but once it is proven and then uh, if there is a product market fit, then SaaS companies usually uh, uh, the like uh, uh, their growth trajectory is uh, uh, very different in comparison to the other uh, uh, business model. Okay. Uh, let me share. You're able to see my screen? No. Oh, just a second. So how can we relate uh, to a business model like mine, which is into a manufacturing and on e-commerce? Just a second. I think he has not given me the option to share my screen. Anybody of you are having... Ma'am, there must be an option to share because uh, we being not a co-host, we still have that option. There must be some green button which is share. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Just are you are the host, you can share. Okay. okay. Yes, now it's visible. It's visible, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you've been asking something. Uh, can you repeat your question, please? Hello? Yes. Uh, can you repeat your question? I can hear you. Am I audible? Uh, yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, I think she is on mute. Uh, now she, she has unmuted. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Yes, yeah. I can hear so, you. Yeah. So I am into manufacturing and uh, want to explore myself on e-commerce platform. So where can SaaS can help you? I actually, there is some lag. Can you repeat your question? You are into? Let me turn off my video. Then I think uh, I'll save some bandwidth. Okay, can you please repeat your question again? Hello. Yes. Oh, so I am into garment manufacturing. Okay. And I am wanting to explore myself into an e-commerce platform. So okay. where SaaS can help me? Okay, so uh, so basically, maybe uh, the retail stores, right? Who will uh, con who will uh, give you the orders? for the manufacturing, right? Whatever you are manufacturing on a, uh, like uh, uh, at some regular interval of time. So if you have a group of retailers, okay, then uh, subscription, uh, this SaaS based subscription model is uh, uh, appropriate for you where they can subscribe. So you can have uh, some subscription model where they can pay and get some additional discount for their uh, monthly uh, like uh, uh, orders. Okay, there uh, the SaaS product can be a good fit for your use case. You mean to say? I think there is some network issue from your end. Others are able to. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Is it like something like India Mart kind of a network? Yes. I mean, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, where they can subscribe, but you have to think for the value proposition, what you're giving. So what, today, what we will do is, uh, like, uh, uh, now I understood your business and uh, for, uh, and then you uh, maybe in uh, following uh, sessions, uh, we will di uh, discuss like how you can build your SaaS product. So first, to uh, in uh, today's session, we will brainstorm what uh, a SaaS company does, what kind of products they make, Okay, and then uh, what all should be the uh, building blocks we should uh, keep on working in order to make our business model uh, successful. Okay, so uh, I'll quickly 
mention about the SaaS business model. Basically, uh, SaaS companies make software products. Okay, uh, Zoho is a classic example of a uh, SaaS company. Freshworks is a classic example of a uh, SaaS company. Google is a SaaS company. Okay, so they used to have the subscription cycle with the users. Okay, they can uh, uh, like uh, subscribe on a pay per use basis. They can subscribe on monthly basis or quarterly basis or yearly basis or multi year. Okay, so there will be a recurring payment occurred okay so this is the uh, life cycle of the saas company and the main benefits of the saas model is the scalability okay if your technical architecture is in a such a way to uh, uh, like uh, it can scale to any uh, any level nothing like that so for businesses uh, scalability load balancing getting the recurring revenue and the higher flexibility that is the main benefit of the uh, saas model for users it is cost efficiency, right? Because uh, SaaS products, for example, if I'll give you the example of uh, AWS, right? What does they do? Uh, Amazon Web Services, they do provide, there are many uh, uh, data centers, I think in Mumbai, uh, in India, Mumbai, Pune and Nagpur, they have a very big uh, data centers, okay? So they have the data centers where they are maintaining the servers and uh, the companies like us, right? who need to build SaaS products, we will use their data servers and we will uh, like pay uh, for the usage, right? How much, uh, for the application hosting, uh, for the database. So whatever uh, the amount of, uh, uh, like uh, based upon the amount of usage, we will be paying to them, okay? So for us, it will be a zero technical infrastructure investment. You need not to have a one big server room where you can have a network engineers maintaining it, right? uh looking for the outages you need not to worry about it so that is being taken care by the cloud companies okay so where you can put your application it will run 24 by 7 and they uh, they are responsible to manage it so that way you have a zero technical infrastructure investment so that is one benefit of the SaaS model to company who are uh, building this uh, SaaS products then low risk, as, as I mentioned about the outage, about the maintaining the network engineer, you need not to worry about it. So there is a low risk, right? Accessibility, it is very important. It will be highly accessible. The products will be available if, if you have uh, uh, de deployed your product in a very robust way, it will be available to the users 24 by seven. For example, Zoom, whenever you want, you just create it. It is available all the time, right? So accessibility, low risk, cost efficiency is, is the main benefit for the users. And you can also like when you are, uh, you will be selling your product to your uh, customers, you can say, can tell them like uh, there is a zero infrastructure investment from your side, we will be managing it, okay? And on your behalf, cloud companies are managing it, okay? Your responsibility is to build the product, right? You, with the help of the developers, engineers, you can build the product, deploy it into the cloud uh, 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 server and then make it available for your end users. Any questions so far? Okay, now uh, I would like to start, uh, and give you some inputs, like what a potential investor look for the uh, startups, look in a startup, irrespective of the domain right you you can be uh, in any domain so the main the 10 things which they look is the opportunity entrepreneurial fit uh, then the customer problem fit like is, is the problem really exist or not okay then the problem solution fit uh, if there is a problem what is the solution which you are bringing to the table right as you mentioned about the learning module where you want to onboard many teachers who can and you can then you want to seamlessly deliver uh, uh, tuitions or learnings to students who whosoever uh, enrolling to your platform right if that is a problem that is a problem and there are many solutions it is already a crowded market but what is the uh, like unique uh, value proposition which you are providing to, through your solution if that problem is existing, then what is the offering you are providing and what is the business model? It could be the SaaS business model. And this is a very good example. Uh, I can say like uh, where anybody whosoever wants to learn, right? They, uh, 
just uh, subscribe it uh, with their favorite teacher have the sessions with them and then late, later on they can unsubscribe so that that is uh, like what you are pitching i think it is a good model but you have to think in such a way like um, uh, so that you can be a key differentiator okay to other other offerings so uh, so you all should uh, like uh, keep in mind that uh, what is uh, something which uh, your competitors is not providing, right? Or how you can uh, differentiate from others. That is something which you have to co co constantly think for your business model, okay? Then how good is the team? I had mentioned to you about like uh, uh, the main uh, entrepreneur mindset. One of the key, key, um, uh, key uh, aspect of the entrepreneur mindset is uh, let go and delegate, okay? So you should have a core team in such a way so that you can uh, like uh, uh, use uh, each other uh, skill set uh, in order to grow the company. And then uh, the solution product fit, okay? Uh, if you have the solution, uh, where exactly it is, is it uh, like has crossed MVP stage or uh, uh, MVP uh, is uh, there or not? So they will check that also. Then the product market fit. So uh, uh, um, as you have noticed, like many people, they build the products uh, for which there is no market. That is also not a good sign, okay? Some people will build a product uh, early where uh, the, uh, like uh, that is also not, like uh, the timing is very important, right? Then the organization structure, how uh, your team has been, or organization has been set it up and uh, uh, whether your organization is funded. Uh, here I would like to highlight like it is not necessary to have uh, 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 like your organization to be funded uh, right from the beginning. There are many good examples of bootstrap company also and uh, Zerotha is one which is profitable from day one. Zoho which is a SaaS company it is also a profitable company okay. So it is not necessarily to rush for the investors and uh, uh, venture capitalists right from the beginning. Okay, Once you will build your product, once it is out in the market and uh, like uh, it is uh, uh, getting uh, traction, they themselves will chase you. So the, uh, the initial focus should be on building the product. Okay, And I would like to mention like uh, building a SaaS product is not an easy thing. Uh, here you need to have your IT team in place, okay? Because uh, technology uh, expertise is very much needed uh, uh, for in order to build a company, uh, in order to build the product. And you have uh, uh, like either you can do it in house, or if you want the third party to be involved, uh, then you can always uh, use the you can outsource this. But I will never ever recommend outsourcing if that SaaS product is very much needed in order to run your uh, operational activities, in order to run your business, right? I will never ever recommend to outsource this because they will take the money, they will build it, they will hand it over to you. Then again, it will be a challenge for you. So it is better to have, you can uh, take baby steps, right? You can have like, you can hire uh, uh, interns from reputed institutions, uh, like uh, give them some recognition, then I have some uh, full-time uh, employees. So uh, I will uh, recommend uh, at the initial stage to have uh, good people in your uh, IT team so that they can build a quality product. Because you, if that is a bread and butter, then you cannot compromise on your product. Okay. Then what are the- I have a question. Absolutely. Sure. Tell me. Uh, so, ma'am, building a SaaS product, what technical expertise is needed behind it? I mean, what should be what should be like the technical team? Okay. So, basically, technical team, uh, if you have the full stack developer, right, who can manage uh, the database, who can uh, uh, manage the uh, like uh, UI, UX part. Okay. So, if you have the full time, uh, uh, full, uh, full stack developer, nothing like that. Because you need... Uh, 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 like in your technology team, you need a person who can handle database, who is a database expertise. Then who is a, a, like a, who is very good in writing the uh, services, right? So whatever database you have, uh, uh, like uh, you have one front facing uh, that uh, UI part, you have the database in order to connect these two, you uh, like there is a need of the uh, developers who can write services to connect these two component, right? So you need uh, expertise and then uh, there are, uh, I think uh, you can explore. Uh, so first of all, you need to, uh, if you have some technical team member in your uh, in your uh, uh, 
uh, core team, then you need to figure out like what should be the technology stack. Okay, whether it could be React, Node.js, Spring. So that you need to decide, right? What could be the technology stack? And then based upon that, you can look for the developers and it will be good to have at the initial journey, it is good to have a full stack developer. Mm -hmm. Because if one is very good in UI, if he doesn't know your uh, database, right? Then uh, like uh, there will be a dependency. Right. But in the, at initial stage, you should have a full stack developer. Once your organization will grow, if you have then once you have more number of uh, operational activities, then you can segregate it. One will take care of only UI, one will take care of only uh, like uh, uh, database, one will take care of only writing these services, right? Because once, uh, because then that time you need multiple expertise. But in order to begin with, full stack developer is a good uh, option. Okay. Thank you. Then uh, what are the growth plans for the future? So for any SaaS company, like you can uh, like uh, uh, prepare your uh, uh, growth trajectory for uh, considering uh, next four years uh, like uh, in plan. So maybe in first, first year, you will work on the development. You will release the beta version of your product. Okay. And then uh, uh, you will acquire one or two customers. Maybe in second year, uh, based upon what kind of channels or what kind of uh, uh, like uh, 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 funding situation you have, based upon that, you can have like through word of mouth, acquire more customers, build new, new features for in your existing SaaS product, right? So like that, you need to prepare the growth, uh, 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 growth uh, projections for considering the next four years, right? Okay. And then... Uh, the most important which any investor or angel investor or VC will look is what is there for them. Because if the amount of money which they are giving to you, if they're not getting return, right? If the return is also uh, by like keeping it in bank only that much return, if they will get, they'll not take a risk, right? So what is there uh, for them? What is there? Uh, uh, so that is called uh, WIIFM. Uh, and uh, because every investors or VC, they want to take an exit of minimum after five years. Okay, So you need to think for that in case you are raising the money. Now, uh, I just want to summarize. So basically, the problem which you are solving, the kind of traction you are getting, the niche about your offerings, uh, because the, uh, the learning, uh, uh, like uh, two of you are in uh, learning uh, education domain, right? That is already a crowded market. What is the niche which you can bring to the table? That is important. What is the entry barrier for you? What, uh, like how good is the team? Then uh, what is the scalability, right? And the beauty of SaaS product is the scalability. You can scale it to any level. Then the innovation in your product and uh, services size of the market, how big is the market? If you are building a product for limited uh, size, right? Then no, they'll not be interested. But in case you want to uh, capture, there is no harm if you are making your product and offerings for a very niche kind of people or niche kind of uh, uh, like uh, businesses. There is no uh, good or bad about it. You can start with that because once you have, will have more confidence, then you can build another product or you can roll out another products in future. Okay. But in order to begin with, that is uh, that is also a good thing. So basically, uh, but uh, from investors' point of view, they will look at the market size, okay? How big is the market? And the beauty of the SaaS product is like, you can scale it to multiple geographies, okay? Whether you can scale it to uh, other uh, uh, geographies or not, that is also a key parameter. And uh, how much is the risk involved, basically? And what is your business model, earning model, okay? So this is what they look for. And uh, I just want to show this picture. It's just, uh, uh, we can visualize like how the entrepreneur uh, looks like. So it's like a man riding a lion. People think that guy is a brave and he's thinking how the hell uh, did I get on a lion? And how do I keep from getting eaten? Okay, because this is the journey where you will have multiple challenges, okay? And one who will be persistent and overcome all those hurdles, nobody will stop uh, from the success. And my advice to all of you is be consistent, 
uh, some or the other day you will crack it and uh, if you will keep uh, like uh, keep on working for another three two three years then your company will uh, the uh, grow there is no doubt about it okay so for any SaaS product okay uh, uh, looking at the growth we need to think like how big is the opportunity okay so you have to size the market and uh, it's not necessarily you can capture 100% market even if it is partial then also uh, then also it is good for you uh, just read the industry reports take expert evaluation and then uh, search for a repeatable and uh, uh, scalable businesses model and also you have to define your customer persona okay uh, so it's not necessarily uh, uh, you can let's suppose you have identified uh, one set of uh, customer persona and uh, uh, down the line you notice like uh, you can cater to another type of customer personas also right so it is better to sketch all kind of customer uh, personas right from the beginning just think uh, and uh, like uh, uh, have a brainstorming with your team and with your mentors like who all can be uh, the customer segments for your offerings right uh, like uh, for example uh, if i take the example of uh, the uh, uh, i think uh, uh, two of you are in uh, education domain right so maybe you can start with uh, the uh, middle school and then later on once you, it picked up right then you can target the higher uh, school students then co college students then mentoring right there is no end right you are giving uh, you are tutoring them and if you are teaching to students you are a good mentor by default so maybe yes. in future what you can do is like and you can build a mentoring platform that could be a SaaS pro product right where anybody yeah. who is seeking the mentoring right they can just subscribe and uh, pay it and then use your mentoring for some period of time and uh, uh, like uh, so that could be another uh, uh, thing which you can add on right so you have yes. to uh, sketch the customer persona look being futuristic okay so that is the beauty of the entrepreneurs because you cannot think only for the limited period of time or the for just for the limited thing because if you want to grow your company you have to uh, think around multiple parameters so today uh, i'll tell you like uh, uh, like what are the main parameters which we need to brainstorm and uh, in order to do that our approach should be very lean okay because what uh, we have noticed is most of the startups fail from lack of paying customers and uh, uh, the so the uh, approach should be customer centric once you have customers paying customers, you will get another level of confidence. Okay. And that will help your team also to keep motivated and build product around it. And uh, uh, I will, uh, Dr. Jasmine, uh, you are here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I'll give you just, I want to relate uh, one example uh, because you are also brainstorming, right? Right. Uh, uh, about your idea. So I can... I, I'll give you an example of my journey. Uh, so uh, when I was studying uh, at NYU in uh, 2008, I uh, participated in uh, 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 a business case challenge. So from NYU, two of us, we went to Harvard University and uh, there was a problem statement to build a product uh, targeting 18 to 34 years of target audience. Okay. They had uh, uh, like I modeled one product and showcased it, and uh, that was around uh, uh, innovation only, where anybody can put up their idea. There should be a, such an ecosystem who can help it, which is very common nowadays. So back in twenty uh, two thousand eight, when I presented this, that is around innovation only. Okay, so anybody, irrespective of their age, they uh, came up with an idea. There should be some ecosystem who will handhold, who will uh, groom the startup, who will groom that uh, uh, innovator and take their business into the market. Okay, so that I pitched in 2008 and uh, I got second prize for that also. And uh, I think uh, 
uh, it took me around 10 years to start that uh, so that was um, in my idea stage only okay and i got the prize that's it i was back to uh, like my campus and then i like worked for around 10 12 years uh, it took me around 11 years to decide and come back to india and start something of my own so my last organization was goldman sachs and uh, uh, so I started my journey. I just want to, uh, I'm giving you the example because you can also be in the same situation because the market is highly competitive. And in order to survive, we have to think very, uh, and we have to follow our uh, instincts, as I mentioned, and we should an anticipate the period. So in 2018, I started my company, Qnormal, which is a SaaS company, and uh, we build digital products for the institutions of any sizes. So I found that there is a need of a learning management system uh, because what I found was in India, only 15% of the academic institutions have their own IT infrastructure. 85% of them, they are not having it. And the 15% who are having are very well-funded institutions, per se IITs, IIMs, ISC Bangalore. Okay, So they are the... Uh, having the IT infrastructure and they have spent a lot like for example ISC Bangalore is spent around 6.5 CR in order to build that learning management platform. This I'm talking here about 2018. So I found that there is a need. I spoke with around 50-60 institutions. The common feedback which I got was this is a good to have but it is not must to have product. Okay, But I was very persistent and I somehow in 2019 I rolled out the beta release and I got one paying customer ICR from Delhi only, uh, uh, Indian Council of Agriculture Research. That was my oh, wow. paying customer. But what happened was, because I uh, am still, uh, like, uh, Qnormal is still a bootstrap company. And uh, I really admire Zoho founder also. And uh, uh, unless and until it is required, I'm not going to raise money also. So uh, 2019, I somehow cracked ICAR, uh, who is still my paying customer. And uh, when uh, 2019, uh, I uh, onboarded uh, this uh, institution. 2020, this pandemic uh, hit us badly, right? So this during the COVID, everybody started looking for the uh, solution. And whomsoever I had reached out, like 50, 60 institutions, they started approaching me like, can we use your uh, your product? But looking at my bandwidth, because I built that product only with my two developers, we are only three member team. So I cannot uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, uh, I cannot, uh, and also the feature set were not very robust, right? We were, because very early, I was in very early stage. So then people started looking for a, because and I, or at the same time, I, I don't want to spoil the reputation also mm -hmm. by giving the half cooked product. Because this guy, uh, I see here, they were very, uh, like, they were uh, aware, like, we are still developing the product, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, this during this pandemic, uh, everybody started looking for the, uh, like, uh, 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 good solution. And I think teams, many solution. I think that time, then the LMS, uh, this thing was crowded and so many uh, companies started building uh, and rolling out their product, right? So in order to survive during that period, the pitch which I had, uh, the uh, like uh, the uh, I had participated at uh, Harvard University, that uh, the idea which had uh, presented over there, I just uh, thought about it and I found that there is no product in the market for the innovation management. So uh, I quickly rolled it out using my existing set of features because in my learning management also what happens is like you have to uh, like uh, uh, take uh, uh, the uh, details about the uh, like uh, uh, attendees conduct the sessions for them uh, upload all the reading materials videos give them the assignments all those things right? so i took some some features and then uh, uh, build one product called accubate uh, during uh, uh, pandemic only to, uh, 20, 20, uh, and within I think four to five months, I rolled out that product and I was very honest and transparent to ICL. Like we will be continuing supporting this product to you, but at the same time, so that that time, uh, then uh, when I pitched about this idea, 
the uh, VC, the director, she, uh, she was very supportive. So she told me like, we are coming up with one scheme uh, with Ministry of Agriculture and we are setting up 30 incubators and accelerators across India in agriculture universities. Okay, so they said like, we, uh, we don't have system in place you keep on, uh, you uh, carry on working uh, uh, for this particular product and we will pay you. So they become my first paying customer for Accubate also. Mm -hmm. Now I have uh, like very good rep, uh, uh, institutions across India, uh, per se, ISC Bangalore, I am Bangalore, uh, IIT Kanpur, uh, IIT Mandi, IIT Roorkee, TCS Foundation, KPMG, SIDB, all are using the same product for to manage the innovation that's so, great yeah so thank you for sharing ma'am yeah so the reason i shared is like you have to follow your instincts and you should uh, anticipate the failure because if i if i uh, should have continued working on that learning module right because that become very crowded by very big big companies right so it, it uh, would have been difficult for me to compete during uh, that period so I quickly came up with another idea, rolled out the product and always be honest with your customers. That is the uh, beauty of a, a good founder and the good company, because if you will inculcate this uh, uh, habit in your company, then all your uh, like uh, uh, down the line, all your employees will follow it and you will not have, uh, you will not face any issue uh, during the support. Because support is very important, right? And you should be very transparent and very uh, clear. Like, uh, don't overcome it because we have the tendency, like, yes, we can do it, right? Don't ever overcome it. If you will follow those two, three things, then they will rely, like, eventually they will build the product. So I'll give you the example. I am Bangalore because, as I mentioned, right, they have, a, uh, like, very good funding in place. So they were using our competitors. So uh, for the same product, I'm having around three, four competitors that were from US. They were using, and it was eight times more than, uh, like the costing is uh, was eight times more. But they were not very sure whether, uh, like uh, mm -hmm. uh, they uh, treat us as a startup company only, right? Eventually this year, finally they decided, uh, like looking at our, uh, uh, number of customers and the kind of support which we are giving to our uh, end users. They subscribe to our product and they have uh, like unsubscribed to my competitor's product. So far, we I have a zero churn in my uh, like, uh, and uh, every year uh, they uh, renew the subscription. All my clients, they renew the subscription and uh, use the product for another year. Now they are uh, multi-year signups also. So, this guy, uh, I am Bangalore, they were aware of my offerings because uh, like I had pitched to them multiple times, but they were, maybe they were like, uh, uh, they don't, like they were waiting for me, like if I will prove myself, then only they will use it. Uh, finally, this year we have onboarded them and I have asked uh, like what were the main reasons you to subscribe to our product, then they said the support because we have heard a lot about your uh, support or uh, support the kind of support which you are providing to your clients and that was lacking uh, uh, to the competitors uh, product uh, which they were using from us okay so building a product is a small uh, one thing but giving services around that product would be a key differentiator to your offering so you should be very prompt and this right from the beginning, right? You should uh, tell all of your team members and employees to follow this, that they should be very, uh, the turnaround time should be very less, okay? They should help the moment. They should not think like today, is Saturday, Sunday, like in case they are struggling with or they're, if they are finding and uh, they're looking for some help, right? your support system should be very strong. That will be a key differentiator to the product because product, any technology company can build it, right? But the kind of support uh, 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 you are going to provide would be the key differentiator in your offerings. So basically my thing is you should follow the lean model and customer centric approach. Try to have your good paying customers right from the beginning and your 
uh, like a process should be uh, agile adoption. So you cannot build a product, a perfect product in one iteration for any SaaS product, right? Whatever, uh, like uh, even for uh, like uh, uh, for the e-commerce platform and whatever you will, build, there will be a multiple iterations, right? So it should, you should follow the agile adoption where you will take the feedback from your uh, paying customers or from your stakeholders and try to make it better and better and better. I don't know how many of you have, uh, so it took around eight years to stabilize the Gmail. So Google took eight years to stabilize it. Okay. So there is, there are multiple iterations uh, and, and in like tech, tech products, uh, it is a, a common phenomena. So you have, there are multiple iterations. So it is always good to uh, follow the agile adoption and uh, Earlier, there were like water flow model, like you decide whatever, and then uh, so that was not a good model. It should be agile. So as and when you find some uh, discrepancies, uh, just work around it, make it better, and roll it uh, quickly. Okay, so your approach should be lean model. Uh, any questions so far? Okay, so. Uh, for the growth of the company and uh, if talking about the SaaS product right, or any, uh, like uh, I'll not only say SaaS product, any company, I would like to mention the nine building blocks which comes under the lean can. Have you ever worked upon your lean canvas so far? Any one of you? No. Okay. So this is very, so I will give you one exercise today. Okay, maybe in following session, we can set up, I'll talk to Dr. Arora and we can set up another uh, meeting, uh, uh, another session again. So I will give you one uh, 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 like Excel sheet, okay, where I, uh, uh, there are nine building blocks. For any company's success, if, you will brainstorm around this nine building blocks. Nobody will stop you from uh, getting success. And this, you can brainstorm along with your uh, uh, core team members, co-founders, in case you're not having any team in place. For example, Dr. Jasmine case, right? Yeah, I'm sure uh, like uh, uh, your uh, institution must be giving you some mentors, right? You can discuss with your mentors also, okay? So if you will work around this nine building blocks, uh, this will help you to uh, like uh, plan uh, the growth of the company and the challenges which you need to overcome, how you have to overcome, okay? That uh, everything you can figure out by working on this one pager template. So the first building block on this is the problem. So you have to basically. Ma'am, could you? Sorry to interrupt, ma'am. Could you please sure. share on the screen those building blocks? Because yes, yes, I'm going to share. Uh, the, are you are able to see my screen? Yes, yes. I am. It's written yes, problem. And then now customers. Okay, so yeah, I'll explain you one by one, and then I'll show you the uh, complete building blocks. Okay. Okay. Thank okay, ma'am. So the first is the problems. Okay, here I will encourage all of you to list down at least three problems your customers are facing, your potential customers are facing, mm -hmm. and then list down the alternatives. I'm sure for each of you, there must be some competitors. The competitor set is diverse, so I'm sure all of you must be having some of the other competitors, right? So in the uh, problem building block, you have to list down three and try to make it very crisp. Okay, need not to write very lengthy text. You should be very crisp. Uh, it, it's a one page template anyways. You cannot write it more than uh, like uh, 100 words or so. So it should be very crisp. And looking at one page template, if you will showcase to any of your, uh, like, uh, like uh, let's suppose there is a committee who is giving you the grants, right? They, they can relate like what exactly you are trying to do is looking at one pager template, okay? Uh, so you have to list down three problems and you have to list down the alternatives available in the market, which is basically your competitors. Then the next building block is the customers. As I mentioned, your approach should be customer centric, okay? Start by identify a customer segment that you have envisioned buying your product and services. Okay? and hone into early adopters. So in the customer building block, 
mention like who all will be the customers like uh, students uh, like uh, uh, like college going students and you can uh, like uh, uh, make it into uh, you can like let's suppose uh, uh, you have one product where you have b2b uh, clients right where we have, you're targeting to b2b so you can have one lean canvas for them and for b2c you can have another lean canvas so you have to envision who all will be your customer personas and hone into the early adopters for example if i'll give you the example of uh, uh, like uh, google also google and facebook so facebook were their early adopters were harvard university right where they were building one uh, social network uh, uh, communication tool and for that uh, they uh, found like uh, harvard uh, university students could be the early adopters similarly for the google it was the stanford university students okay so you have to and it could be your friends families your known person who can be your early customer persona that is absolutely fine this is the second building block now the third is the solution so in our uh, like problem slide we had outlined three problems right for each of the three problems articulate a capability or feature that solves the problem so what is the solution which you are bringing to the table okay what is the solution which you are planning to uh, or the product or service which you are planning to make it as part of the solution then another building block is the unique value proposition. This is very important. Uh, it is basically a promise of value to be delivered, communicated, and acknowledged. It is also a belief from the customer about how benefit will be delivered, experienced, and acquired. Okay, so basically the ultimate benefit a customer is getting. Let's suppose there is a CV building company and uh, the unique value proposition which they are giving to their uh, the students or any aspirants is uh getting a dream job so that dream job a dream job is the unique value proposition which a customer is getting from that company okay so you have to think about the benefit that uh, uh, that uh, end user will get so basically it is a promise of value to be delivered then the channels it is very important Basically, channel is a path to customers, right? So, uh, for your for uh, like uh, taking the example of the learning management, so uh, channel could be the Instagram, Facebook, where you will showcase about your offering. Okay, where your customers are sitting. So, based upon the product and service which you are offering, you have to think for your channels. And channels could be like cold emails, writing a blogs, conducting a webinar, right? <laughs> writing uh, articles, participating in some events, trade shows, or uh, like uh, uh, some influencers. Your website is also one of your channels, then social media handles. And uh, while choosing the social media handles, you have to be very careful uh, uh, to pick the relevant one. For example, if it is meant for the B2B businesses, then I think LinkedIn is a, a better option rather than Facebook. Okay, if uh, like uh, you have uh, uh, young uh, people who, whom you are targeting, then I think Instagram is a good option. So you have to think, so basically channel is path to your customer, how you will reach to your customers, okay? Any questions? Excuse me, what is this retention versus referral? Sorry? Retention versus referral? Okay, so basically, uh, like, uh, uh, if you want to retain, right, be, uh, re, uh, retain your customers before referral. So basically, oh, it is, uh, yeah, I hope you got the point. Yeah, yeah, retention of our customers. Yes, yes. I was thinking about retention factor in our advertisements. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay. So now the next building block is revenue stream and cost structure. So basically, cost structure is like in order to run your business operation, uh, what are the costs which is uh, involved? For example, if it is a manufacturing company, right? Then the production unit, uh, land, uh, land lease, then uh, 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 salary and wages. Okay, so basically in order to run your business uh, for the SaaS companies, it is a development cost, right? 
then development uh, development cost then cloud infrastructure uh, sales and marketing branding similarly you have to think through what are the cost structure involved in order to run your business because at one point of time you need to uh, whenever you will get a grant or uh, like uh, angel investor money they will look at the cost structure and the amount of revenue you are generating out of it okay? so because uh, ultimately your company should be profitable so what are the revenue streams basically how you are making a, uh, uh, pay, uh, making money so if it is a saas product coming to the saas example uh, it could be a uh, subscription like uh, so, uh, for one month quarterly subscription yearly subscription multi year subscription so that is a, one of the revenue stream then down payment right there are many companies who take the down payment then the licensing uh, could be another revenue stream premium model is one of the uh, like uh, revenue stream so you have to think like how you price your business uh, and what model a model you are opting a business model you are opting for uh, your company okay. any questions so far um ma'am what is the difference between a customer and a user i thought the both are same Cust yes uh, both are the same uh, basically customers who are going to pay you right for example uh, again i'll give you one example of saas company uh, let's suppose i i'll give you the example of my company only okay so i have one product which is an innovation management system so my uh, customers are b2b institutions right Where institutions can be uh, like uh, corporates academic institutions small and medium enterprises anybody can be uh, the my uh, client okay so now uh, let's suppose i am bangalore is paying for my product because i am not charging to the uh, uh, like uh, the students or the user uh, whom who are they are having right users are uh, again uh, imb uh, admins are also the users imb students are also the users right but eventually who are paying to me it is right, right. customer like b2b client who is paying to me and they can have any kind of users right they can have like their mentor evaluator students so though that is a category of the users basically customer who is paying you right so in some cases you will directly uh, charge uh, uh, it could be if it is a b2c ma model you will directly charge to your consumer so, so if, if we will take the example of the learning uh, uh, business uh, which uh, in our cohort two of uh, you are having then i think the end user right the direct the consumer is paying you so consumer is your customer right ma'am got it ma'am yes uh, so uh, i'm just relating this uh, to my business like uh, suppose we are a digital marketing agency and suppose we have designed a presentation for a client and that presentation the client has to display in front of their uh, clients uh, yeah so though so jiske liye wo presentation bani hai wo users ho gaye and and that company those who are paying us वो 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 कस्टमर हो किसी और को क्यों देंगे अपने अपने क्लाइंट्स को दिखानी है कि व्हाट व्हाट दे 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 आर डूइंग और हैव 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 अ प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट न्यू एंड वांट वांट टू 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 देयर 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 प्रेजेंट दिस डीलर्स राइट सो दे हायर अस एंड वो कहते हैं कि आप हमारे ये प्रेजेंटेशन तैयार करो डिजाइन करो सो okay. so, उन्होंने अपने डीलर्स के लिए वो प्रेजेंटेशन हमसे बनवाई सो दो डीलर्स वो आपके कस्टमर हुए वो डीलर और okay. जिनको वो प्रेजेंट करे वो तो उनके हो गए राइट वो उनके लाइक वो उनके कस्टमर हुए तो एक तरीके से वो लेकिन आपके केस में वो आपके यूजर्स नहीं कहलाएंगे आई मीन सपोज वी आर वी आर मिराकी नाउ देर इज अ कंपनी ए मतलब मेरे क्लाइंट है सपोज ए कंपनी सपोज एबीसी कंपनी राइट नाउ एबीसी कंपनी हायर अस और वो कहती है कि आप हमारे लिए प्रेजेंटेशन डिजाइन करो सो दैट वी कैन प्रेजेंट दैट दैट प्रेजेंटेशन to our dealers so those dealers those who are uh, seeing that presentation are the users it's like that 
yes you can uh, like uh, uh, they can be the users uh, like ultimate users of your uh, ha. Uh, ha, that but your customer is the one who is that paying. abc company right, right. yes okay ABC. fine yeah any other question Okay, so yeah, so these are the uh, two uh, building blocks, revenue stream and cost structure. Okay, I hope you got the point, right? What is cost structure and what is revenue? Revenue is basically how you are making it and uh, what are the costs incurred in order to run the business is the cost structure. Now, very important part uh, building block is the key metrics. Basically, uh, eventually you have to measure the performance of your company and how you are going to do it is by listing down the key metrics right so basically uh, you have to like uh, monitor the performance of your company and let's suppose uh, it is a if if a company has a, a mobile app right swiggy swiggy is a matter let's take the example so the key metrics like how they will measure the performance is by number of downloads because if you are if you have downloaded uh, the app it means you are going to use it right so with number of downloads is the key metrics so that's how they will monitor the performance of the company if i'll take the example of google during their initial days when they built the search engine number of search right coming to their uh, website that was a key matrix. So basically, you have to choose a matrix that will tell you if your startup is progressing. If it is increasing, it means they are, that your company is uh, performing well. Okay. And this will differ from business to business and change depending upon the startup stage. So that is a key matrix where you can monitor the performance of your company. For example, if I again, I'll take example of this, uh, like uh, 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 education company. Uh, so number of students enrolled, right? For tutoring. So number of students is the key matrix. The more the number of students, the more uh, there is a demand for the uh, 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 solution yes. you are providing. Yes. Okay. Then yes. the uh, unfair advantage. This is very difficult to articulate upfront. So basically, it is something. So in, uh, in the beginning, I had mentioned you about the uh, uh, key differentiated part, right? So basically, unfair advantage is uh, the parameter uh, where which is your competitors who cannot copy very easily. For example, if I'll take the example of Google, so that time Yahoo, Alta Vista, that were very popular company. Okay. And uh, Google built one page rank algorithm and they got the patent for that. So that page rank algorithm was the unfair advantage, that algorithm. Similarly, uh, unfair advantage could be the patents, exclusive partnership, logistics. So basically, the unfair advantage is like uh, which your competitors cannot easily copy unless and until they will uh, work very hard but in case you have the patent exclusive partners, then, then it is very difficult, right? So you have to think through right from the beginning, like about the unfair advantage, which your like uh, uh, competitors uh, cannot easily copy. Okay. And I, I would like to list down a couple of uh, unfair advantage, which all the entrepreneurs have by default, they don't realize it, but your startup has. So it is basically the passion, the intellect, experience, the community, the willingness to listen, curiosity, first mover advantage, setting up the realistic goals, exclusive partnership, networks, speed of execution, location, flexibility. So these are some of the unfair advantage which most of the startups they have and which will help in the uh, uh, like uh, in the growth stage also. And uh, I would like to mention about uh, the difference between a unique value proposition and unfair advantage. So basically unique value proposition is a conversation you have with your customers. 
okay unfair advantage is a conversation you have with your competitors if we will take the example of facebook the unique value proposition to users like us is come use us because we have all your friends on the network already their unfair advantage to competitors is don't bother stealing our users because we have already everyone and their friends on the network, right? Yes. So I think uh, there is one app uh, similar to Twitter by government of India also. I think it's called Ku, right? Uh, it's Kuhu or Ku. Oh. Like huh. But it's not, it hasn't become so Absolutely. common Yes. So uh, do you have any guts to build a platform like Facebook? No, right? We cannot because we know it is very hard to compete. Yes. Since it's government body, government money, they can afford it, right? Because they are they can uh, like just drain money and then they can build something like that. So building a product is not usability is very important. So any product, right? Any kind of product, usability is very important. If you make, uh, and also uh, if you're coming up with some niche idea, niche product also, if you will make your users use it, nothing like that, then they will, mm -hmm. they'll stick to you. They'll not leave you. Oh. Similarly, the difference between solution and unique value proposition is unique value proposition. It describes an outcome while the solution describes a, how the outcome is achieved. Okay. So unique value proposition is a promise of the outcome customers get while solution it describes how the uh, outcome is achieved. So if I'll give uh, the example, uh, so solution is job recruitment service. Unique value proposition is find your dream job in 60 days. So this is a so it's subtle difference, but yes, there is and you have to think through it. So this is the lean canvas. Uh, Shall I share here as uh, only? Yes, ma'am, it's possible. Is it possible to attach uh, to your computer? Okay, you can. Say, uh, in the chat box, there is an option file at the bottom left corner. I have already. I, can you see? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Let's see. You can see it, right? So all of you, please download this. So this is the nine building blocks. And what I will suggest you is maybe you can talk to Dr. Arora, who will take the lead of this uh, because Rahul is also not here. Anyone of you? Yes, ma'am. I'll take. I'll talk. Okay, so you can talk to him and then we can plan another session. Meanwhile, I will encourage all of you to work on this lean canvas. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, like, then we will have a discussion uh, uh, regarding your canvas and uh, I will give you some inputs on that. Okay. Sure. So basically, if I'll give you the example of the lean uh, business model canvas of, uh, so this is slightly different. Business, there is a difference between lean model and business model. Since you have not worked on your lean canvas, for, I will encourage all of you to work on the lean canvas first, and then we will move on to business model. Okay. There is a, like, there are five building blocks, which is really uh, different, uh, 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 different uh, in business model. For example, the problems, it gets changed to the key partners, okay? For example, uh, you want to build one e-commerce platform, right? You identified that there is a need uh, um, for, uh, for the e-commerce platform, you build it. Now, when you will work upon your business can uh, canvas, that problem you have already identified, you have a paying customer, now, uh, you have to, uh, while working on the business model, this problem get changed to key partners. Basically, who all will be the key partners in order to take your business to another level? For example, if it is an e-commerce, then some logistic company, right? You need to partner with some logistic company who will uh, like uh, provide the courier services, okay? Then as part of the solution, what are the key activities which you are going to do it? 
then uh, key metrics change to key resources, right? So basically, who all will be the key resources in order to execute uh, your offerings? Cost structure, revenue stream, channels, customer segment, it remains the same. Only uh, and value proposition, it remains the same. Only change uh, is the core building blocks, key partners, key activities, key resources, and customer relationship. Basically, that uh, unfair advantage, which we talked about, right? Uh, unfair advantage is one which your competitors cannot easily copy. It gets changed with the customer relationship. Because now, if you are into the market, the kind of support which you are providing to your customer, it will be a key differentiator. And for that, what all you are doing it? Are you collecting feedback? Are you giving if they are recurring, if they have opted for some subscription, right? Are you uh, providing uh, uh, like uh, some discount on their uh, new subscription? Something like that. in order to retain them, in order to manage them. So how you are uh, building that uh, relationship with your customer that you need to work upon. So this is a typical SaaS business model canvas. Okay, so basically the key partners will be, you can, uh, since you know, like, um, I, I'll just tell you from the technology angle. So there are many offerings, open so, so solutions in the market. For example, uh, even when, uh, the, uh, when I was building the learning management system, right, there was a need uh, by the ICR to have a video conferencing tool. That time Zoom was not like, we were not used to using the Zoom. Zoom was not very popular. It was uh, just post pandemic only. So I built a, a, a meeting app using one uh, Jitsi open source system. Okay, so basically your key partners will be basically who will help you to take, to roll out uh, your offerings very quickly. So I used the open source of Jitsi to build that meeting app. So I even I was also having my own meeting app, but I was not able to scale it because I was have a, have, having a limitation of only 100 people can join at a time. Okay. So uh, the, uh, that is the key partner. Then uh, cloud uh, uh, service providers, right? Like uh, AWS, GCP, IBM, Azure uh, would be the key partners. Then the key activities like software development. Uh, maintaining the uh, developer operations pipeline is the key activity which any uh, SaaS product company will do. Key resources are the developers. Value proposition, zero technical infrastructure investment by the client, easily accessible software which will improve the productivity uh, of the business. Then for the customer relationship, I can like uh, build a good analytics, online support, cust uh, uh, like have some webinars, uh, channels. It could be the self service, like in your website, um, like for example, in Zoom, right? If you want to subscribe it, you can go there and subscribe it. So it should be a self service model. Then uh, API integration uh, 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 could be the another channel. And uh, customer segment can be any business users. Cost structure, uh, maintaining the DevOps pipeline, then cloud infrastructure. Revenue uh, streams can be a SaaS model like user based or uh, like pay, uh, pay per use. So that you can define. So this is a typical uh, like SaaS business model canvas, but today we will work upon the lean model. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? Uh, no questions. Okay. No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I would like to sh give you, yeah, I'll share some multi billion startups and their lean canvas. Google, as you all know, it was founded by Sergey Brin and Larry Page in 1998. So this is a lean canvas. It looks very simple. Honestly, when you start working, 
you have to like literally brainstorm a lot okay so as i mentioned like google uh, the problem which they identified was irrelevant search results of existing search engine existing search engine existing or uh, was the alta vista yahoo and excite okay hard to find what you are searching for so i'll appreciate if uh, all of you at least list down three problems which your customers are facing as a solution they want to develop a technology that would allow users to search and find relevant content okay whom they have targeted the customer segment was all the web users and who are the early adopters the stanford students okay then channels like path to customers is the user references for example let's suppose i am using google i'll tell my friends like, uh, like it is better than yahoo the search is very relevant because back in 1990s 2000 early 2000 the search was very inappropriate you should have to go up to like 18th or 20th pages or 30th pages to get the relevant content okay so the unique value proposition or the benefit which they uh, were providing to the users was like a fast search and get the relevant content in first page okay that was their unique value proposition and the unfair advantage was the page rank algorithm which i had mentioned to you right key metrics was the number of the more the number of search it means the uh, like uh, there is a demand for the uh, for the search engine then the cost structure was the hosting and the development cost and revenue stream investment and advertisement revenue so basically if you can if you see still we are not paying for the searches right so google is generating revenue from the investment and the advertisement that is the so main source of income now it, they have uh, like diversified into providing uh, 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 gcp google cloud uh, 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 like uh, google cloud and there are multiple uh, product offerings which we, they have uh, in their port portfolio but back in uh, when during their in initial stage this was the lean canvas i'll give you an ex example of uh, amazon which was founded by jeff bezos in 1995 so they started with uh, uh, like uh, they found that there is a lack of online bookstores so i just want to uh, say here like you should be very uh, four sidedness and you should think what your users will be uh, needing in coming future down the line after 5 years you have to be little uh, vigilant about it okay so back in 1990s when uh, jeff bezos thought about this online bookstore internet penetration was not very uh, like it was not very common even in india i think very handful of people were having the internet connection back in 1990s and early 2000 so he found that there is a lack of online bookstore and it is very uh, hard to select the book in offline store unless and until you know the book name or your friends have referred it then only you will get it otherwise it is very hard to search and back those days it was not like uh, in uh, today's uh, grocery shop we see right whatever we want we just uh, uh, like look for it and uh, uh, take it in our cart it was not like that you have to tell the book shop uh, keeper like what are the books and basically you have to spend time so he identified that problem and as a solution he wanted to build an on online book store with millions of titles the customer segment whom he target was the book readers and the early adopters were customers searching for rare and specialized book so he his target was only the rare and specialized books okay and the, those who are having the internet connection unfair advantage was lower price okay and then uh, uh, there was no competition for online like kazeb uh, versus was the only one who was offering this uh, solution flipkart uh, tweaked a bit and flipkart also started their journey uh, by uh, book uh, book selling only but uh, 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 any one of you uh, can uh, tell me like what is the key differentiator uh, between flipkart and amazon ma'am so other services also as in they have their uh, uh, entertainment sector as well 
Uh, no. Uh, so when uh, Flipkart started their journey, the key differentiator was uh, cash payment. So you need not to pay upfront. Okay. During the delivery time, you can pay. That was the key differentiator. And from there, Flipkart picked up and they started offering okay, cash on delivery. Cash on delivery was the key differentiator. So this is a human tendency, right? If you are spending, then you will be worrying. And uh, like uh, uh, when they also started their journey, credit card was not very popular, right? Nowadays, it is very popular, credit debit card. It was not very popular uh, those days. And uh, uh, taking the example of uh, today's e-commerce platform, for example, not e-commerce, like uh, companies like uh, Swiggy, Zomato, and uh, Big Basket, sorry, Big Basket, uh, Zepto. So what Zepto has done, uh, they are uh, promoting their offerings like uh, delivery in 10 minutes, right? So we all like uh, uh, do cooking, right? And uh, it, uh, if we need something, so if you have both the offerings, Zepto and Big Basket, whom will you prefer if you need, uh, like you're cooking, you have started preparing something and realize like uh, something is missing. What will you prefer, like Zepto or Big Basket? Oh, Zepto. Right, because they, they are promising like within, a ten, within 10 minutes, they will do the delivery. For Big Basket, you are not sure. It is just human tendency, the, like the perception or the like uh, uh, the way they are promoting their brand, right? It sticks to your mind. So you will uh, definitely uh, prefer Zepto even though it will be like uh, though both are uh, the pricing is uh, same for in both the apps but uh, even though if it is uh, uh, like more also you will prefer zepto because you will get it in uh, like uh, 10 minutes of time okay so the unfair advantage for amazon was the lower price and basically uh, uh, the time which you are uh, saving right uh, going back and forth the key metrics was again website traffic channels. Uh, they opted for the affiliate uh, resellers. Unique value proposition was like uh, buy books using a PC from home office without visiting several local stores to find a particular book. Cost structure was hosting and operational cost. Revenue streams, direct sales. That was so. This is the example of Amazon. So I have like more examples, but I uh, I hope you got an idea. If you will work upon this component, whether you have a SaaS product or any kind of offerings, you can, like uh, the growth will be multiple, right? You, uh, the only thing is you have to think through this very diligently. You can sit with your mentors, you can sit with your core team members or like with your cohort members, uh, work on your lean canvas because this will give you more clarity and you will get all your unanswered questions right like how much cost is involved like who, how much revenue you are ma ma making whether your company is progressing or not uh, whether it is profitable or not and as i mentioned you should have a customer centric approach that is very very uh, much needed right in order to uh, like take your business to another level. Okay, so you should have a customer centric approach. Uh, I'll just take, uh, give you some advantages of this lean model is, uh, basically it proposes a key matrix to evaluate whether the business is moving in the right direction or not. And you can account for uncertain conditions, assumptions and incomplete data. So this will definitely help you. Uh, I'll do one thing. I'll just. Do you want to work on your lean canvas now or you want to do it later? Uh, we can do now also because it's like uh, 3 40. So okay. I think we have time if everybody agrees. Okay, it's okay, we're fine. So what we will do is, we will resume back. Uh, right now it is three forty. Let's resume around uh, three fifty. I'll give you ten minutes time, though it is not very sufficient. But I'll give you. Uh, yeah. So let's resume at three fifty, and uh, whosoever uh, will complete their uh, lean canvas. 
they can present it and we'll have a discussion around it. Okay. Uh, one thing. Uh... Can you explain high concept? There was a there was something high concept thing in the lean canvas. High concept uh, design. What was that? High concept uh, something. Uh, which slide? Just a second. In the lean canvas. Uh, actually, when you were showing that Amazon Valana, was there. High-level concept, sorry. Yes, high-level concept. Okay. No, they had just divided uh, this unique value proposition into two parts. Uh, okay. It's not required uh, as of now. Okay. Uh, so basically, high-level concept for the company. They want to become the Earth's biggest bookstore. Okay, that, that is their dream. Yes, that's the okay. company's tagline. Okay. So basically, you can put your tagline also in the unique value proposition. Okay, fine. Okay. So, for example, let's suppose there is some SaaS company. They can say like think digital with this that company name, right? So, that will be a tagline. So, if you want to, if you're thinking about digitalization, think about us. We will provide you the solution. Okay. okay. So, let's uh, uh, resume at uh, 350. I'm not going to close this. Okay. I'll just myself. And then you all of you can start working on your canvas and let's resume at 350. Okay.
any one of you are done with your green canvas? Ma'am, almost ready. Actually, as I told you that um, it hasn't started yet, but yes, plan and everything is done. I'm yet to execute it. I'm in talk with uh, people who I will need to work with. So I haven't done cost structure and revenue streams. Um, I can help you on that. If you have uh, presented, uh, like uh, partially also, if you have worked, you can showcase it. I will okay. help you on the cost structure. Okay. I mean, uh, I was actually making, I probably, I needed more time, but I guess uh, that, that wasn't enough. So shall I, my screen, shall I share my yes, screen? You can share it because this is very short time. It, it will take like, uh, I'm sure you must have understood, right? Like uh, this needs actually uh, full attention, full brainstorming, right? And uh, uh, we can take up one and maybe in subsequent session, what we can do is like, uh, once you will uh, work on your uh, canvas, we can have another session where we will go individually for uh, each and every canvas and then we can take it forward. Um, actually, the time was short, so I have done on uh, paper itself. So I have just, uh, you know, written everything and I'm happy that I have done it because this is uh, finally I have, you know, begun with something formal. So shall I share the picture with you yes. so that I can yes, yes. explain? Just Absolutely. give me one second. Sure. Thank you. Others, did you get chance to look uh, work on your canvas? Yes. Uh, actually, as you said, that uh, it looks simple, but it requires lots of brainstorming. So mm -hmm. we, um, we means me and my partner, we started the when brainstorming. So it is taking lots of time. So we need another session definitely. No problem. <laughs> so we have so, just jot down the problems only. Okay, so I have also jot down the problems and I've also written the points where I can work on. And if you want the points, I can speak the points. Okay, no problem. You can uh, work on your uh, canvas. Maybe we can arrange another session. Uh, maybe this time I'll plan to come Delhi in person, meet you all, and then we will have a workshop so that we can brainstorm around each and every canvas and... Uh, try to help you on that so that you can that would be great we really need another session with you sure indeed sure ma'am can you please share your contact details yeah i will share you i'll i'll like i'll i'll just put my email address in the chat ma'am actually i tried to share my screen but it's not allowed for the participants so i have clicked the picture and shared it in the chat box if you could see and open so that you can understand what i'm trying to say uh i we are not able to see your uh, message uh it's there in the chat box i just posted and uh, no pick is there uh, just no, a second it's not there i i did it just a second so, Mati, what I will do is I will give you a host access. Ma'am, it's, ma it's there now. Okay. Yes. Sorry for that handwriting. I was in hurry and I had only 10 minutes to do that. So, no the, like, no uh, like, about fledglings, fledglings means birds. So, I believe I, as the teacher, see all my children as birds and they are ready to take their flight, right? So, when we take our flight, we always see that all these directions and all that should be that, uh, you know, uh, someone should be there to guide us, right? So, this is how uh, I consider myself. I consider myself okay. still. I'm able to see the screen, right? Yes, I am able to see okay. that. Thank you. Okay, so um, my name is Sumati Sachin Obroy and the name of my venture is Fledglings Learn to Fly. So problems which I see as a teacher when I talk to parents and again, uh, I have to say this that I'm also a parent. So I can see that, that a learning adopting life skills we think that bade ho jaye tab karenge are bhi to chote hain abhi kyun kehna bartan rakh do ya ye kar do plants ko you know let's water and all kyunki abhi chote hain abhi 3 saal ke hi to hain abhi 4 saal ke hi to hain this is uh, what we listen from in laws and from I, I should say from almost everyone. But when they are in class 5, 6 and 7, then we say, Tu kuch nahi karta, tu kuch nahi karti. And then we forget, ki when they were toddlers, we forgot to, you know, bring those uh, values in them. So I think mm -hmm. learning 
and adopting these life skills very important and then they have to parents parents actually have to get that platform where they can actually learn there are n number of videos available uh, there are uh, you know uh, movies available but everyone everything talks about uh, you know animals and plants and toys and clothes but no one talks about these life skills so first problem is that uh, they have to learn and they have to adopt life skills second problem is the platform ki pata to hai ye सिखाना है सिखाना कैसे है वेर इज द प्लेटफॉर्म कहाँ सिखाएं स्कूल आर देर बट स्कूल कम विद देर ओन लिमिटेशन सो इट्स नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट इजी एंड पॉसिबल फॉर देम टू यू नो इनकलकेट दीज स्किल्स एंड देन रिकेपुलेशन रिकेपुलेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स लाइक जो बार 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 देखेंगे हम वही सीखेंगे राइट सो सोल्यूशन इज दर there is digital content there is youtube channel there is instagram handle there is an application you can go there and you can watch the content you can read the books which i really hope that i'll write quite soon and then there will be objects which they need to use in their day to day life clothes to daily pehenne hai so jo kapde pehenne hai usko jo likha hua hai there should be a message so that they flaunt the pouch that they carry uh, or any stationary item that they carry any what about a lunch box uspe kuch acha sa message kuch you know glittery sa uh, they may read it to their friends because i again as a teacher i have seen whatever learn they learn from their peers they can never learn from parents or teachers or for, from anyone on the earth so they learn from their peers so when they flaunt something they नया नई बॉटल लाया हूँ या नई ये चीज लेकर आई हूँ सो वट एवर इज रिटर्न स्टूडेंट हु इज इन क्लास वन टू थ्री दे कैन रीड एंड दे कैन फ्लॉन्ट इट राइट सो अल्टीमेटली दे दे they start believing in that because they are reading it so unique value preposition will be that learnings acquired in childhood jab bacche hain tab sikhenge tabhi to ek better adulthood hoga na and this i can say from my own experience i still remember when i was 3 years old or 2 years old and it's not about me it's about my my relatives my siblings my friends hum sab hote the hum gurudware jaate the mandir jaate the aarti puja karte the and it's not only That, हम झाड़ू भी लगाते थे हम रोटी भी बनाते थे एंड uh, क्योंकि बचपन में किया था तो अभी तक आता है एंड वी रियली फील प्राउड कि आता है एंड देर आर मेनी अदर पीपल हु आर फ्रॉम माय सेम एज एंड दे दे आल्सो आर सिमिलर टू व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से सो दे नीड टू लर्न इन देयर चाइल्डहुड सो दैट दे देयर एडल्टहुड बिकम्स बेटर अदरवाइज वो होता है ना व्हेन यू गेट मैरिड ओ मेरे हस्बैंड को कुछ नहीं आता और यू you नो know, मेरी वाइफ को या मेरी डॉटर इन लॉ को कुछ नहीं आता या मे बी मेरी मदर इन लॉ को कुछ नहीं आता सो आई रियली बिलीव बट वट एवर यू लर्न इन चाइल्ड हुड इट एक्चुअली रिफ्लेक्ट इन योर एडल्ट हुड सो स्टार्ट अर्ली एंड देन देर विल बी चैनल लाइक आई टोल्ड यू there will be social media and there will be my company's website there so they can shop they can watch there will be uh, many things so customer segments will be children of the age of 0 to 16 because once they become adult they don't listen Uh, i mean they have their own life so it's better when they are listening to us to us means we are the stakeholders teachers and parents and um, everyone i think uh, around children so this is what i visualize my my baby and my baby is actually fledglings thank you so much for the patience and thank you so much for the time and i really hope i was able to convey what i think uh, as an individual thank you so much it's very thank good only uh, comment which i have is like how will you compete with your market right kyunki jis tarike se aap jo bol rahe hain like uh, aprils mein bahut acche se kar wo to jitne bhi abhi jo bana rahe hain right agar wo dikhega ki ha demand hai to wo quickly bana sakte hain fir aap wahan par kaise compete karenge what will be the key differentiator from your side ma'am actually kind of poems and stories i write uh i think that itself is my usp that is not in english that is not in hindi that's bilingual and kind of words which i choose we are very comfortable it's like bakwas mat kar is something which we don't want to hear but there are certain words which are very peppy and which are acceptable so mm-hmm. i think i'm a content writer so when i write i try to pick those words which are easy for children to 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 understand but at the same times that will be acceptable by parents as well because i see when my child watches something 
वो हिंदी का देखता तो वो इतनी अजीब सी हिंदी होती है आई फील ये ऐसी हिंदी नहीं सीखनी हिंदी सीखनी है बट ऐसी नहीं सीखनी सो एंड आई विल डेफिनेटली यस यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट देयर विल बी कॉम्पिटिटर्स एंड दे विल डेफिनेटली कॉपी एंड दे विल आल्सो स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन दैट लाइक यू टोल्ड मी वंस यू स्टार्ट योर जर्नी यू फाइंड सॉल्यूशंस आल्सो व्हेन यू सी कंपटीशन सो आई रियली कीप होप एंड कीप माय फिंगर्स क्रॉस्ड दैट आई विल बी एबल टू स्टैंड आउट लाइक नो इट्स अ वेरी गुड आई एम श्योर अगर आप लगे रहेंगे आपको और भी अच्छे आइडियाज आएंगे आप कभी सुन के मेरे को मेरे दिमाग में जो एक आइडिया आया है जिस पे आप वर्क कर सकते हैं सिंस यू आर अ कंटेंट राइटर आल्सो राइट यू कैन क्रिएट स्मॉल स्मॉल स्टोरीज राइट जो उसके अराउंड आप वीडियोस बनाइए जैसे बच्चे पापा पे दुनिया भर का देखते रहते हैं राइट हमारा इंडिया इंडिया में ही इतने सारे लैंग्वेजेस हैं राइट आप उसके अराउंड अगर ये बहुत अच्छे अच्छे लाइक उसके जो भी आप उनको की टेक अवेज देना चाहते हैं स्टूडेंट या बच्चों को सिखाना चाहते हैं उसके अराउंड अगर आप शॉर्ट वीडियोस बनाते हैं यहाँ पर आप पैसा ज्यादा बना लेंगे बिकॉज ये आपका एक्सपर्टीज है दिस इज समथिंग विच जिसमें आपका एक्सपर्टीज है और विच अदर पीपल कैन नॉट इजिली कॉपी आप इसके अराउंड अगर आप शॉर्ट वीडियोज बनाते हैं कंटेंट बनाते हैं क्योंकि अप्रेल्स वगैरह ऐसे है कि वहां पर आपको बहुत चैलेंजेस आ सकते हैं बट यू विल फाइंड इवेंचुअली यू विल फाइंड योर वे कि कहाँ पे आपका बिजनेस जो है सरवाइव करेगा राइट यू विल फाइंड योर वे जो मैं आपकी बातों सुन करके जो मेरे दिमाग में आया वो ये भी एक इनिशिएटिव आप ले सकते हैं क्योंकि इंडिया में इतने लैंग्वेजेस हैं अगर आप उसी में मल्टी लिंगल वीडियोज बनाते हैं राइट और वो आप जो आप मैसेज देना चाहते हैं बच्चों को जो सिखाना चाहते हैं वो आप कर सकते हैं अगर नथिंग लाइक दैट आप उसको सारे स्कूल के प्राइमरी स्कूल में आप उसको सेल कर सकते हैं उस वीडियोस को राइट दे कैन बी योर एंड यूज यू सो मच मतलब आप जब बता रहे थे तो क्योंकि इसकी भी जरूरत है थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू ंग द सेशन जस्ट से you are able to see my screen right yeah yes
hope you like the ma'am it was beautiful thank you most welcome yeah so with this i would uh, uh, like all of you to work on your lean canvas and uh, maybe in following session we will work upon the business canvas business growth plan and uh, like uh, let's plan to have a workshop in person and uh, there we will brainstorm more okay with this thank, thank you ma so much and thank you to all of you thank you